looking at them having such a tough year, the really the worst year since the dot-com bubble, what did the CEO have to say about the performance? Thanks for having me. I think that you know Schwab's CEO really jumped right into it. There wasn't really a lot of sugarcoating going on this morning. Um, I think the executives were quite straightforward as John mentioned, uh, the really in the call, the CEO came right out and said that it was w the one of the company's toughest years, certainly maybe one of the toughest years since he had held that role. So um, I, I think that it will, uh, the executives will sort of continue to watch this and will watch the messaging very closely. But it was a very frank discussion this morning on, earn on the earnings call. They've had a, a tough year last year, down more than 17% on the year, and they've been having a tough day certainly in the market. What can they do to turn things around? Are they making tangible changes? Definitely. I think a lot of this dates back to some of the regional banking turmoil from last spring. Um, you know, if we look in at today's earnings, the, there were some figures that were down, including net new assets and deposits. But a lot of this dates back to last spring, which was, um, you know, a period of time where um, depositors were sort of yanking their funds to try to seek higher yielding alternatives. And um, I think that the executives were just sort of trying to address some of those hangover items, as, as you say. Um, and to be honest, today the shares fell. It was the most intra, uh, fell the most intraday since March, and they've since paired some of those losses. But it's it's certainly been a tough day for Schwab. And Paige, uh, there was some messaging around funding sources in the future, but I. I tied that Canadian connection in because of the deal with TD Ameritrade and the integration of that business is something you've been covering as well. In terms of the business going forward, the size and scale that they've got, are they sounding fairly upbeat about that? Well, to touch on the TD Ameritrade, actually, the executives did weigh in on that this morning. It's around 90% completed at this point in time. And they did say that the balance will be sort of completed, wrapped up, I, I would say, by May, I believe. Um, and in terms of moving forward, they are looking at some potential, looking at taking some tangible steps, such as evaluating the duration of their securities portfolio and also looking at some other items um, that, that were detailed this morning on the call. All right, and then I guess in terms of uh, the, the inner workings of the funding sources going forward to try to uh, avoid the kind of scenario that unfolded last year, any more details, Paige, that you can share with us? Certainly. Uh, another item that the executives touched on uh, that they were evaluating is just paying down some of those more expensive funding sources that Schwab turned to last year, such as retail certificates of deposit and also the more expensive uh, federal home loan bank advances that they took out to, again, respond to customers who were looking for higher yielding alternatives. And, um, you know, it was just, uh, as we all know, it's gotten much more expensive to borrow for everyone these days.